Ever wonder how some companies skyrocket while others fade away? Imagine spotting the next big success before everyone else. But how do you spot a growing company that can actually grow your wealth? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're taking a look at the world of investing. But don't worry, we're keeping it simple and clear, even if you're new to this topic. We'll break down how you can identify growing companies, ones that don't just survive, but thrive. These are companies you want to invest in to see your money grow over time. Now, if you're tired of the daily grind and want your money working for you, Investing in these types of companies could be your ticket. Whether you're thinking about passive income, wealth building, or just securing your future, this video is for you. But before we go on, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. We've got tons of content on investing, building wealth, and making your money work for you. Let's start by understanding why companies grow. Just like people, companies have to evolve and improve to survive. The goal? To keep their investors happy, make money, and avoid going out of business. Companies need to constantly provide value. That's what makes them good companies. Ones that don't just chase trends, but create long-lasting value. A company that grows well, creates wealth for its shareholders. And that's where you come in as an investor. Quote to remember, innovate or die. In simple terms, companies that can't keep up with change often disappear. Think of companies like Blockbuster that didn't innovate and ultimately lost to Netflix. So, we're looking for those companies that continue to create value in a changing world. How Companies Grow The 5 Growth Strategies Finding growing companies that promise stable returns and long-term growth potential requires a solid understanding of the strategies that drive business expansion and market influence. Here are key strategies that growing companies employ, along with examples and indicators that can help investors identify promising opportunities. 1. Product Innovation as a Growth Strategy one of the most recognizable ways companies achieve growth is through consistent product innovation. This strategy revolves around developing new products or enhancing existing ones to meet evolving consumer needs. Apple is a prime example of this. With the launch of each new iPhone, iPad, or software update, Apple keeps its audience engaged by offering improved performance, updated features, and enhanced designs. Such innovation fosters customer loyalty and makes it difficult for competitors to match its brand appeal. When evaluating companies based on product innovation, look for those that are not only introducing new products, but are also consistently improving and adapting their existing offerings to stay ahead of the curve. This could be through technology upgrades, sustainable sourcing, or improved functionality, as seen with companies like Tesla in the electric vehicle space, where each model pushes the envelope in terms of battery life, design, and performance. Moreover, product innovation doesn't always mean high-end or tech products. For example, companies like Procter & Gamble excel in innovative everyday items like laundry detergents or personal care products by making them more eco-friendly or adding unique benefits. A successful innovation strategy is about creating products that fulfill a real need or solve a problem in new ways. Additionally, innovative companies often have a dedicated R&D team or a substantial investment in research which helps them maintain a steady stream of product ideas and improvements. As a potential investor, check if the company's revenue is consistently growing due to these innovations. Also, keep an an eye out for any patents or proprietary technology as they can provide a competitive edge that makes it challenging for competitors to replicate their products. 2. Expanding into new markets for growth Expanding market reach is another popular strategy companies use to grow. When a company opens its products or services to new regions or demographic segments, it broadens its customer base and creates new revenue streams. Starbucks, for instance, expanded from the U.S. to nearly every corner of the world, successfully adapting its brand to different cultures and preferences. This expansion has played a significant role in its growth as each new store brings in additional revenue and boosts brand recognition globally. Companies that strategically enter new markets markets often start by researching the local demand, adjusting their product offerings to fit cultural norms, and carefully selecting locations to maximize exposure. This growth strategy is particularly strong when the company's home market reaches saturation or when there's limited room for significant growth domestically. Another example of effective market expansion is Netflix. Initially, Netflix began as a DVD rental service limited to the US, but with the rise of streaming technology, the company expanded globally, tailoring its content library to fit various 
various international audiences. This expansion allowed Netflix to tap into new demographics and diversify its revenue streams. Entering a new market can be costly and requires adaptability. However, for a company capable of managing these challenges, the rewards can be substantial. Investors looking for companies with growth potential should evaluate their market expansion strategies. Look for companies entering markets with increasing demand, minimal competition, or unmet consumer needs. Additionally, assess whether the company has a plan to manage the logistics and cultural shifts needed for a successful expansion. 3. Increasing market share within an industry for companies in growing industries, capturing a more extensive market share can lead to significant growth. Take Amazon, for instance. When e-commerce started booming, Amazon capitalized on it, not just by offering a wide array of products, but also through its commitment to customer satisfaction, convenience, and low prices. By doing so, Amazon expanded its market share substantially within the online retail space, becoming synonymous with online shopping. The company further solidified its market position by entering related industries like cloud computing with Amazon Web Services, capturing additional market segments, and boosting overall revenue. In a similar vein, companies that consistently capture a growing share of their market typically have an established brand, excellent customer service, and a well-optimized operational model. This allows them to take advantage of economies of scale, lowering their production costs, and allowing them to price competitively. When assessing a company's growth through market share, look for industry reports to determine if the market itself is expanding or if the company is gaining share from competitors. Industries with high barriers to entry often favor dominant players who can leverage their market share to set industry standards and protect their position from newcomers. A company's ability to sustain its market share in such an environment is a positive sign for investors as it indicates stable future revenue. Additionally, companies with large market shares are usually better positioned to withstand economic downturns because they have broader customer bases and diversified income streams. Fourth, competing successfully in a stable market. While some markets are growing, others remain relatively stable, with few opportunities for major growth. In such markets, companies often compete for existing customers, which requires strategic pricing, excellent customer service, or unique features. Coca-Cola and Pepsi are classic examples of this approach. In the soft drink industry, demand doesn't fluctuate dramatically year to year, and major players must find innovative ways to maintain or expand their market share. Both companies invest heavily in marketing campaigns, brand loyalty programs, and product variety, offering everything from zero sugar options to limited time flavors, all to keep consumers interested. For companies in stable markets, establishing and maintaining a strong brand presence becomes essential. They may not experience rapid growth, but their consistent revenue can make them appealing to investors seeking steady returns. An essential factor in this strategy is customer loyalty. Companies that compete effectively in stable markets often have loyal customers customer bases, which help them maintain sales despite competition. Strong brand loyalty can be built through customer-centric policies, exceptional service, and high-quality products. Investors should look for companies with solid track records, consistent sales, and high customer retention rates. This stability provides reassurance that the company can endure market fluctuations without relying on drastic changes in consumer demand. 5. Strategic Acquisitions for Growth Acquiring other companies can provide instant growth, helping companies expand their product lines, customer bases, and market reach without building these capabilities from scratch. Facebook, now Meta, used this strategy effectively by acquiring Instagram and WhatsApp. These acquisitions allowed Meta to gain millions of new users and broaden its social media influence, creating a powerful digital advertising platform. While acquisitions can be highly beneficial, they are also risky and expensive. Integration challenges, cultural clashes, and regulatory hurdles can disrupt operations if not carefully managed. Therefore, companies with a strong history of successful acquisitions are often more attractive to investors. When evaluating companies, based on acquisitions, consider the compatibility of the acquired business with the parent company. Effective acquisitions should add value, complement the company's existing operations, and create opportunities for new revenue streams. Investors should also assess how these acquisitions impact the company's financials, particularly regarding debt, as excessive borrowing to finance acquisitions can lead to long-term financial strain. A well-executed acquisition strategy often signals a forward-thinking company that can adapt quickly to industry changes by incorporating external talent and technology. Sixth, digital transformation and technology adoption. 
In today's market, companies that embrace digital transformation often have a significant advantage over those that don't. Digital transformation involves integrating digital technology into all areas of a business, fundamentally changing how it operates and delivers value to customers. For example, traditional retailers like Walmart have expanded their online presence, creating a seamless shopping experience that combines physical and digital options. Similarly, financial institutions embracing digital banking have reached customers beyond their physical branches. This transformation is increasingly crucial in a world where consumers expect fast, convenient services that technology can deliver. Companies leveraging data analytics, artificial intelligence, and automation can streamline their operations, reduce costs, and offer better services to customers. For investors, a company's commitment to digital transformation can be an indicator of its long-term adaptability. The benefits are especially evident in sectors like healthcare, retail, and finance, where digitalization can improve efficiency, reduce errors, and enhance customer experiences. Look for companies actively investing in technology and training employees to adapt to these changes, as these organizations are more likely to stay competitive in a rapidly evolving market. Each of these strategies offers a lens to evaluate a company's growth potential, and together, they present a comprehensive roadmap for identifying a growing company. Going back to that quote from earlier, innovate or die. This is why the most effective growth often comes from introducing new products. Innovation costs less because companies can leverage existing facilities, teams, and distribution channels to launch something new. On the other hand, acquisitions usually require a large initial cost and could involve additional risks. Unless the acquired company adds a clear value, it's generally harder for an acquisition to deliver the same level of return as a great new product. Identifying Competitive Advantage now, let's touch on the importance of competitive advantage, because growth alone isn't enough. A company also needs a competitive edge to protect itself from rivals. A competitive advantage could be strong brand. Think of Nike in sports apparel. Even in a crowded market, Nike's brand reputation helps it stand out. Patented technology. For example, pharmaceutical companies rely heavily on patents to protect their products from being copied. High switching costs. Microsoft benefits here. Businesses that rely on its software find it expensive and time-consuming to switch, keeping Microsoft's customers loyal. Identifying these advantages will give you confidence in a company's long-term growth potential. This is key because no matter how fast a company grows, if it doesn't have a durable advantage, it can quickly lose its position. And there you have it, our guide to spotting growing companies. Companies. Investing in growth companies can be one of the best ways to grow your wealth and secure your financial future. But remember, no investment is without risk. It's crucial to do your due diligence, stay informed, and make decisions based on the company's growth potential and competitive advantage. So, if you're ready to start investing wisely, make sure you keep these tips in mind. Look for companies that innovate, expand thoughtfully, and have a competitive edge that keeps them on top. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others interested in investing. And don't forget to subscribe for more insights. Let's continue growing our wealth together.